I never thought the day would come, but I sold my Ultratech V2. I've already boxed it up and shipped it off to its new home. Here I am pulling down the glass plumbing I had made for the drainage system. And I'm sure you're wondering, what now? Wow, there's the gem transfer. I felt like this lamp was a little expensive, but uh, you can feel the quality on it, so that's pretty nice. Wow. Initial thoughts right out of the box, you can just feel the quality on this. This is unbelievable. Um, the V5 mask really is the top of the line. Oh my god, here it is, guys. This is incredible. I'm uh, a little speechless right now. This has been a long time coming. I've fantasized about this moment for a long time. Wow, first impressions, I mean. I had the Ultratech V2, and uh, it was a stainless steel top, I believe. This is aluminum now. The other one was solid hardwood as well. I got a bunch of index gears. Got a box full of dots here. Now, these are a bunch of different pastes. There's cerium oxide in here. And this is diamond compound right from Ultratech. Just getting the rest of the laps unboxed here, which are the grinding discs for the machine. And I present to you the Ultratech V5 digital dial. So the first thing I'm gonna do on this V5, try it out. I got a piece of bandwidth that's dopped up, started on the preform. What I'm going to be doing here is called the Crystal Hexagon. Pretty intense actually, so this will be my most complex cut I've ever done. Just got this in the quill and we're working on the preform. Just going to get some of the rough edges ground away. Still working on the preform, but I'm gonna have to take it back a little further than I had originally thought, just because these inclusions are pretty deep. Now I have this adjusting knob here that you can actually twist to fine adjust and get this exactly where we need. You can see this chip out of the side. Now that's gonna greatly reduce the width of the gem because I'm gonna have to take back all sides. And here's a shot of the gem after I brought the girdle right in there. And that's just a shot of me showing how you raise the mast and change the angle. So now we got the pavilion shaped in. I'm just gonna change my disc over to my 3000 grit, which is gonna be the pre-polished stage on the gem and here I'm just going to show you guys how quick a row of facets goes once you get the gem shaped up okay so I'm working on the pavilion right now and this next angle is 53 degrees so we make sure this is on 53 which it is then I have my index dial here index at 68 here we go now I'm watching the digital dial count down to 53 while we're doing that we're going to check what's the next angle 76 so I'm watching 53 53 even what do we index to 76 76 back on the gear watching the dial back over here next gear 
84, 53, holding even. Index, 84. That's gonna be that row of facets. Absolute precision accuracy and speed. This is the longest time I've ever invested in cutting up a villain. I'm really happy with it. I'm gonna take it out of the quill now. Wow. Okay, yeah, it's really nice taking it out of the quill and being able to see it on different angles like this. This is um, pretty much what I expected, honestly, with the V5. It's basically just perfect, so unbelievable. We're gonna move on to the crown now. I gotta dop this to uh, the next dop. I'm gonna do a dop transfer, and I'll show you guys that right now. So just looking for the best dop that's gonna fit the pavilion on this amethyst. And I found this nice V-grooved piece that's gonna work really well. I pre-fit it to make sure. Now I sold my oil lamp with my original Ultratech V2, so just to get this gem dopped, I used a Bic lighter with an elastic band. It's pretty ridiculous, but uh, it did get the job done. So now I'm just spinning the two dops in my hands to make sure that they're properly aligned before I remove the first dop. This has a little brass tightening knob here and the original machine used an Allen key. Now just in terms of engineering, I never really understood why you'd want an Allen key. I just finished the crown. I'm just gonna check it over now. Just did the uh, polish on this. All right, it's looking pretty good. It's looking like it needs a table cut. So I got this uh, 45 degree adapter here and it's designed to fit the Ultratech V2 and the V5. It's been a long time coming. This V5 has worked like an absolute dream. Super impressed. Very glad I own the Ultratech V2 prior because it's allowed me to see the differences in engineering as well as the overall quality of the build on these machines. So I just pulled this dop out of the freezer and this wax, when it's chilled, a lot easier to break. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys liked the video. This was a really special episode for me. 